popping yo welcome back to another youtube video and today we're taking a look at another game that i recently played which is on xbox and which is is on game pass i have done three videos on this game and i have completed this game so you can go check that out i do believe all of it is should be posted on the channel so you can go check it out as of the time of this video being uploaded but this game is called limbo and you play as like a 2D side scroller game where you can run backwards and forwards and you complete like little puzzles and you die a lot in this game. I don't think you can make it through this entire game without dying because dying is part of solving the puzzle. You have to die to solve the puzzle and sometimes you have to die to work out how a puzzle works or how something works. Sometimes it catches you off guard as well. Sometimes you don't know what's going to happen, you accidentally run into like a problem, you accidentally run into death on accident, because there's like a trap that's been set out for you. Or sometimes you can see the trap and you just accidentally trigger it anyway, doing something which you thought wouldn't trigger it. I'm going to be honest, I had a lot of fun playing this game. Uh, my fucking smooth brain did take a very long time trying to figure out all the puzzles. But there is a load of really unique features to this game, which you don't normally get with 2D side-scrollers. So... The whole premise of this game is you are a kid trying to make your way through this like desolate landscape, through this limbo, this place in between heaven and hell, to make it to this like park bench tree thing where you sit down and that's where the game ends. So I do believe that's when you like make it to heaven. That's where you make it and you finally find peace. I guess. I don't really know. There's no like talking, there's no dialogue, there's no like verbal storytelling it's all visual and you make it through like a woodland to a swamp to a like factory through to like just a park bench and i do believe there is like 40 to 45 levels in this game and you can speed through this game like it did not take me long to finish this game at all and it's it's really interesting. The puzzles are very creative. You have to actually think about them and think like how would each one work and how the physics of the objects work into it, especially when they bring in new features. Like it starts out really easy, very basic just to get you used to it. And then you have to kill a giant spider. And once you kill the spider, it starts to get a little bit harder from there. You have to manage with gravity and sort of how it twists around. You have to deal with moving objects. You have to deal with, like, mind-burrowing worms and maggots, which change your direction and make you constantly move. So there is a load of challenges that comes your way, a load of, like, obstacles to overcome and obstacles to sort of tackle and manage. Honestly, it's a really creative game, and I thought it was very interesting. I thought it was really intriguing. And I did struggle with it. I struggled a lot. The art style, with it being all shadow-based, like with a dark sort of basically pitch black sort of ground and character with like glowing white eyes and all the light coming from the background and how it shines through the trees, shines through the factory, and... It also like shines through windows and stuff when you go into buildings. It is really beautiful in like its art style and also very, very scary. Like being chased by that spider was fucking terrifying. And also having to fake out the spider was fucking terrifying. Having to fake out like creatures and monsters and actual other people was so terrifying. I didn't know how to manage it i didn't know how to sort of go against them and again like i said it's all about trial and error trying to do things you have to die to work it out there is i mean if you played through this game and you know what's coming you could probably do like a no death speed run but as of like this very very beginning if you're going through it blind there is no way you can make it through it without dying at least once I really didn't understand the sort of style to this or the, um, like, I, I, I didn't understand the story to start with because it was very strange and it was like going straight from like a forest to a swamp to a factory. I thought that was fucking intense. Like, that's a lot. You can go through a lot. 
and you can do a lot. There's a lot of traveling and a lot of traversing. How? I, I don't get how that works. I don't get how you can go from... A, obviously, forest to swamp, that's very easy, but swamp to factory? That is... That's a big jump. That's a big sort of setting jump. And obviously, with each new place comes new challenges and new decisions, new puzzles, new characters. And there's other humans which are afraid of you. And I don't get why. That was never really answered. There's other humans which try and kill you and want to hunt you down. And sometimes end up making you run backwards through the level. So you have to do everything that you've just done, but in reverse to sort of survive and travel through it. And I I, I just, I, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. The story of this game is very confusing, but I like that because it leaves it up for interpretation. It leaves it up for what you want to believe the game is about. And my interpretation of the game and my um, view of the game was um, how it's life and death, like between like heaven and hell. That's what Limbo is. And that's just what I assumed this was. Him sort of waiting to get that final divine judgment, whether he should go to heaven or hell. And to be fair, he killed a lot of creatures in this place. He killed a lot of uh people in this um what is it? A lot of people in this uh limbo, this world. And uh that I think that's like a, a hell. That's like a hell, you know. I think if you if you kill something, hell, because you you're taking life away. But I don't get how you could kill something in in a limbo. So it is very strange. I will admit it is extremely odd. But I uh, I don't have much else to say about this game. So that's my thoughts and opinions. That's my view on the game. I think the gameplay is pretty interesting. The music is really good. It, it builds up that suspense, that threat, that danger that you're constantly in in this world. And I just, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this YouTube video. This game is a solid 6 out of 10. And um, I don't think I'll play it again. I think it's like a one-time thing, like a one-time playthrough. I don't think I'll ever go back and do this uh, one more time. I don't know. I've played it once. I know what happens. I, I, I struggled quite a bit through it, so I don't think I'll have the motivation to do it again. But um, yeah, that, that's it from me. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you all next one. I hope you all have an excellent day. And if you do want to see more videos from me, obviously press the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. I normally do five videos a day, plus any news that comes out over the course of the week. Um, I upload those as and when that drops. So if you want to see any of that, you can check it out right here on the channel. Just hit subscribe and uh, join the price tags. 98% uh, of you are recurring viewers, but are not subscribed. So you obviously like my content. You just don't want to hit the subscribe button. Are you scared of the subscribe button? Is it threatening? Big red button. You know what? I would think a big red button's threatening as well. Don't worry. If you do hit it, it's completely free. You can always change your mind later. But it makes it a nice gray. A nice gray which is easy to deal with, easy to manage, and looks a lot nicer on your, like, night mode uh, YouTube homepage. I use night mode, uh, just saying, and uh, it, it's a lot easier on the eyes. Or if you just want a little bit more time pricing in life, you can check out the link in the description, which will take you to everything else that I have to offer as a content creator, from my TikTok to my Instagram to my Snapchat to my like Reddit to Facebook to pretty much anything you could want from me is on there. But um, other than that, hope you all enjoyed, and goodbye. Stay home and stay safe.